hello viewers thank you for joining me on this video on integration by parts the method of integration by parts depends on the formula for the differential of a product that is duv is equal to u dv plus v du if we make u dv the subject then we will have u dv is equal to the uv minus v du then if we integrate we will have integral of u dv is equal to uv. If we integrate the uv, we will have uv minus integral of v du plus the constant of integration. The above formula, that is, integral of u dv equal to uv minus integral of v du plus c, expresses one integral, uh, that is uh, this one, integral of u dv, in terms of a second integral, the integral of v du a proper choice of u and dv will lead to a simpler second integral that will be simpler than the first which we may evaluate easily and thus arrive at an answer there are rules for choosing u and dv the first rule is that the part selected as dv must be readily integrable. And the second one is that the integral of v du must not be more complex than the integral of u dv. So we are going to take a few examples to illustrate integration by parts. Now, the first one, the first one we have example one. Evaluate the integral of x exponent x d x here we are going to let u be equal to x we let u be equal to x and also we let dv be equal to exponent x d x so if you notice here you can observe that we took x as u then the remaining parts of the integrand we have taken to be what dv so the next thing we are going to do is that we will differentiate u with respect to x so if we do that we will have du dx is equal to one the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to one so this implies that du 
is equal to dx. And here we will integrate dv. So if we integrate dv, we will have v is equal to, if we integrate this, we get exponent x. So we now have values for u and for v. We are going to use the formula for integration by parts, which is integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So if we substitute the values, we will have the given integral, which is x exponent x dx is equal to u, u is equal to x, so we write x times v is exponent x. So we have x multiplied by exponent x minus the integral of v, v is exponent x, here we have exponent x, du, du is equal to dx, so we have dx here. Then, if we evaluate, we will have, we will have, um, the integral of x exponent x dx is equal to x exponent x minus the integral of exponent x is still exponent x plus the constant of integration. So at this point, we can see that exponent x appears in this term and also in this term. So we can write this as exponent x into x minus 1 plus c. So that is the result of the integration. Now we are going to take a second example. Example 2. Example 2 is to evaluate the integral. of x squared lin x dx. The integral of x squared lin x dx. Now let's solve. Solution. Um, let u be equal to lin x and um, we let dv be equal to x squared dx so that if we differentiate u with respect to x we will have du dx is equal to the derivative of lin x is 1 over x. Here, if we cross multiply, we will obtain du, du is equal to 
dx over x. And on this side, if we integrate dv, we will have v is equal to the integral of x squared dx is x cubed over 3. So we can now apply the formula for integration by parts, which is integral of u dv is equal to uv uv minus integral of v du then we are going to substitute the values into this formula so we will have integral of integral of x squared lin x dx is equal to our u is lin x so we have lin x multiplied by dv uv sorry v v is x cubed over 3 so we have multiplied by x cubed over 3 minus the integral of v du which is x cubed over 3 multiplied by dx over x it's because du is equal to dx over x so at this point we will have the integral is equal to if we multiply these two terms we will have x cubed over 3 lin x minus here we have a constant on the denominator which is 1 over 3 so we can write it as 1 over 3 into integral of we have x cubed on the numerator we also have x on the denominator so we can cancel x and one of the x on the denominator to have x squared dx so this gives us x cubed over 3 lin x minus 1 over 3 multiplied by the integral of x squared dx is x cubed over 3 plus the constant of integration. So you can see that x cubed over 3 is common to these two terms. There's x cubed over 3 in lin x. There's also x cubed over 3 in the second term. So we can write it as x cubed over 3 into lin x minus 1 over 3 plus c. So this is the result of evaluating the integral of x squared lin x dx using integration by parts. If you like the content and presentation of this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.